let's try this. Good morning, everybody. Um, this is my first saddle hunting video. I was encouraged by the guys on both sites and saddlehunter.com to show you guys this, so I'm going to do it. Uh, the camo tape that I use, I get off of eBay. There are little packages like this. They're pretty cheap, and they're, they're pretty sticky, so you, on the platform itself, you don't have to worry too much about sliding around. What, here's my platform. I ran that all the way around the edge. If you notice here, there's a little bit, bit of a receiver. It works out perfectly for what we're going to do here, saddle hunting. I did the bottom side a little lighter color, and again, um, I tried to break it up so that from the bottom it doesn't, doesn't look um, like me standing on a platform up there. This is another piece to it. This is the piece that went with the, um, the seat that I was telling you about, the big game seat. I stole this from a muddy conversion I did before, and the same thing with this cleat. Um, everything else is from the, from the seat itself. Uh, this, this here is my front attachment for my, my straps. I use loop straps and ratchet it around. If you look, I have right here a piece that what I actually did with this was I cut an angle out, as you can see it here, sharpened up my, my spikes on the side a little bit, make sure I don't move around much at all, and really it does work. These go together just like this, very simple. Nice simple setup. Goes on here like this. And it does fit tightly, so that's a good thing. And if you notice, I have a bolt here that fits in a recessed hole. It's a high tensile bolt um, that goes through the whole setup. It does go through. And for the sake of speed here, I'm not going to tighten it up all the way, but it, you can look, it's pretty, pretty simple. But what I have right now is when I tighten this all up, it's a stand that sits on the tree like this. These two cleats lock into the tree with my strap along with this top cleat to make me, keep me from moving around on the platform. If you notice, all this stuff is adjustable, so I can adjust the seat in other ways. If you, if you notice in the beginning I said I shaved off that one piece um, for adjustment, I really don't need it. So this is what we have. If I tighten this whole thing up, it becomes one solid platform, I'm telling you. I've been jumping on this thing for two weeks now. I can't get it to break. It, it has a little bit of give. It's sand cast aluminum. Um, very much like Greg's uh, setup. Only it isn't purpose built. So I, I, I want to caution people about there like this. I, I don't know what the testing strength is on this. I just know that if I jump up and down on it, it hasn't broken yet. It doesn't mean it won't. Um, the long and the short of it is, if you're going to make something like this, it's easy enough. Nice little setup, doesn't weigh much at all, folds up, it's packable, and I'm telling you right now, it's, uh, it's something almost anybody can do. If I can do this, you can do this, guys. Don't be afraid of it, okay? You're probably talking about a little bit over three pounds, and then the ratchet. Nice setup, real easy to do. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. See you later. This is Slow Mo from Bowsight. I'll catch you guys later.